everyone and welcome to uh, part three um, of my uh, Stug 3 Aus D build uh, using the Dragon 135 Canone kit. Uh, for those of you who are following along with this build you'll know that in the tutorial section of my channel um, there's six um, tutorial videos showing how I um, scratch built and um, improved the interior of the Stug. Um, and as you can now see that's all been uh, fully masked off uh, ready for the further work so in this video I'm actually hoping to finish the build completely so what I'm going to do now is have a look at the fenders now my um, model is going to be based on the Abtalung 189 division um, and the figuration on the fenders is somewhat different to what the kit is um, so the first issue I'm going to have is uh, all these holes um, that have been made um, for the equipment from the kit to go on to because if I fill these and then start sanding it down I'm going to be losing all of the uh, detail of the fender which I don't want to do. Um, so I'm going to see how many will actually get covered up with the new fender configuration. Fortunately um, there's only one or two holes that actually go through to the back of the fender which is uh, a good news so that will make life a lot easier um, however any remaining holes what I will do is that I'll drill drill them all the way through um, add a little bit of plastic uh, plastic rod uh, to fill the hole up and then just add, add a couple of little uh, small rivets on top to um, match in with the um, fender pattern uh, not the ideal um, I, I should have gone for um, uh, photo etch uh, fenders but that wasn't uh, in the remit for this particular project so I shall make do with what I have now as far as the uh, tools go um, anything uh, from the kit um, as you can see um, already have all the the, the, the uh, clamps on etc they're quite good detail um, so if you're happy just, just carry on and use those particular ones um, if not then you can uh, use your photo etch set um, if you remember I'm, I'm using the Voyager one now I love using photo etch however clamps I absolutely hate doing um, it's a necessary evil because they do look the part once done they usually come in three parts I find it's usually best to, to fix the um, base onto the model first uh, then add the tool on and then add the, 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 the top part of the clamp uh, on top of that afterwards um, a quick shortcut um, if you want to have a little bit of uh, detail is just to take the clamps off um, you, 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 the model uh, kit part and just put the PE clamp in, in, in its place and, and, and that looks quite quite effective now as you can see for, for, for me to strip all these clamps off especially on something like a fire extinguisher uh, would cause a lot of damage to the actual tool so I'm very fortunate in my, in my spares box I have a lot of um, tools and fire extinguishers etc where, where all the detail um, where was never added in the first place so I'll be swapping all, all, all of those items out so that's the next task uh, I'll let you know how I get on with that well the fender was a complete and utter disaster uh, everything that could go wrong did go wrong um, from pieces going missing pieces breaking stuff not sticking whether it was with CA or normal glue and quite frankly it nearly ended up in the bin but um, I stepped away um, came back the following day totally ignored the fenders and I've got on with the rest of the build and things are going really well so let's have a look at um, what the situation is at the moment um, this fender here after four attempts of trying to get it to stick down it just will not go um, as you can see if it's pressed down flat um, it's nearly at a 45 degree angle um, so what I've done is created uh, a look of damage um, I've taken off the uh, mud guard completely uh, re put on a, a new hinge and as you can see I've bent it up in the air and also that the side fender has been bent out a bit so, so that will be the damage on on that side um, the, the front hatches the um, hinges went in very nicely indeed now because they're actually going to be open uh, so that the, the um, uh, detail on the inside of the hole can be seen the um, hatch doors had to be detailed um, quite straightforward really um, just a little um, 1.4 disc underneath um, a piece of strip 
and then the 0.8 meng nuts put on top. Um, the ends were flattened out. There is supposed to be a li little rib across there, but that's um, going a step too far for me. So that's fine. Quite happy with that detail. So that looked nice once painted up. As you can see, the front gun's also been complete now. That went together really well. Uh, the metal bow from RB is uh, superb. Very pleased with that. No issues with fitting. Uh, you can see there that I've just put a little um, loop in there for the uh, cover for the bow, which um, on this model I won't be including. Um, and as you can see, it is still fully uh, movable as well. So pleased with that. Um, on my uh, research photos, um, there is a track armament on the front. Um, so these um, links, spare links that I've got, um, they've been made up um, and they're going to be added uh, onto the front here. So that will be an, a nice little feature as well. So pleased with how that's gone. The uh, conduits for the front lights, uh, they were done using um, Tamiya cable. Um, obviously as and when I put the lights in, um, there'll be a 0.3 mile, uh, 0.3 mil uh, wire running into, into each of the conduits. Um, one of the disasters, uh, these have disappeared completely, can't find them anywhere, so I'm going to have to scratch build those. Um, so that will be done near the end of the build. Uh, moving on here, the uh, tabletop uh, toolbox isn't on my particular um, reference, uh, they, they don't exist on, on there. Um, and also the, the crew members have put one of the S club uh, clamps um, in the hook there so that's quite a nice feature as well. The um, handles were, were replaced with uh, 0.3mm ones with little 0.5mm uh, rivets. Um, here the um, again the wire cutters aren't on my uh, reference photo so, so they've gone. Um, I'd lost my rag by this time um, so I just put a little uh, clamp in there rather than putting the full clamp on because nothing was sticking. Now we come to the um, the jack um, again caused me no end of problems. Um, beautifully uh, modelled, I must say, detailed by uh, Dragon. Very, very impressed with it. And again, uh, the PE set was beautifully done as well. Um, it took me a good hour just to do that that end piece. So I've still got another one to do. Um, however, uh, the issue is, as you can see, if you put it on there. Um, it, it touches this part before it touches the floor um, so I'm going to have to move that along to there which isn't a great issue because um, there's going to be spare wheels uh, put all the way around um, the, the model um, so now I can put the spare wheel on the back there because the, the jacks move forward so that will work out well there's also going to be a spare wheel um, on the, the side of the hull here and as you can see, I've just uh, scratch built a little uh, clamp there. And that will look quite nice once it's painted up. Um, so despite all the issues, um, I'm certainly getting there uh, as far as the fenders go. I have moved on, as you can see, um, and done the uh, rear panels. Um, again, beautifully um, detailed by Dragon. Uh, had no fit issues either. It went together beautifully well. The um, P sets um, are used as far as the covers go um, from the uh, kit PE rather than from the Voyager one. However, the rest of all the PE here is from the Voyager, um, and I'm starting to work my way around the um, doing the tow rope loops as well. But yeah, very pleased with how that's all gone in. Now the rever the rear um, had great fun with this. The um, damaged exhaust are superb. Um, they've gone in really well. Very pleased with how that's now looking. Um, the tow um, pins, they'll be put in at the very end of the build um, and with chains added because my, my um, reference um, photos show that the tow ropes come alongside the hull and all the way to the front rather than being wrapped on the back here. So, so they'll be going down each side. But beautifully fit. Um, there, there was a little bit of issue with, with, with the instructions um, on, on how this all went together, but it's fairly straightforward. So if you just take your time and dry fit everything, you shouldn't have any issues.
The uh, tracks are, are all complete now, um, very straightforward, uh, very little flash um, and went together very nicely indeed. Um, however, because of the uh, fragility of, of the model um, and the wheels etc, um, it's been impossible to work out uh, how many links um, are required. Um, so I've gone for me, for me bog standard 89 uh, links um, on a Stug and uh, we'll see how, how that fits with the sag etc and if I need to add any more I'll uh, do that so basically the tracks are finished but these will not be touched now until the whole of the model has been painted and weathered and all the wheels fixed on so the build now complete let's do a final run through um, we'll go um, clockwise so starting at the front um, as you can see the uh, lights were done beautiful um, etch work um, again from Voyager um, you'll see that I've uh, added on a horseshoe that was shown in uh, one of my research photos and um, that was from the spares box um, this side um, is completely um, disappeared um, again because of the damage here on the front end and because of research photos um, so all I had to do there um, was to just make a little bracket there for the light um, the light um, was in with the, the, the Dragon kit itself um, so that was all very straightforward coming around again um, the covers um, there are a variety of different uh, types of uh, covers for the lights um, I decided to go for, for the strip ones um, again just made from um, strips of photo etch uh, with a little um, 6 mil uh, pewter rivets um, you can also just see in there I'll, I'll do some close up photos for the end of the video but the, the, there's some um, uh, 3 mil wire there going into the conduit um, just to dot the I's and cross the T's of the detailing so that was all um, very nicely um, put together, I was quite pleased with that um, for those of you um, who remember um, I'm going to be putting around about 30 uh, jerry cans onto the back um, and the research photos show that uh, the guys must have done some sort of in-field modification to the fenders by putting handles uh, not on the fenders, on the uh, vents um, by putting uh, handles uh, on there so basically what that means is now that they can be strapped down um, so near the end of the build I can just loop, loop through some foil straps and, and that will work uh, very nicely there coming around to the back um, I chose to have the uh, mud guards up um, that allows you to see the um, under mud guards as well uh, the grenade launcher beautifully designed by Voyager um, really enjoyed putting that together um, highly detailed the only thing that's missing as you can see are the chains um, you'll also notice that all the chains from the tow bars etc are missing um, I've learned to put those on at the very last thing because if you start putting them on now they fall off get clogged up with paint etc um, etc et so they'll be put on right at the end the um, tow cable um, loops and that were all finished off um, I've left that one open just to show a bit of uh, variety um, but yeah very happy with the detailing there um, I will be putting um, a couple of uh, value gear crates on the back as well um, just just to break up um, the detailing um, so that should work quite well and also with any um, German vehicle you're going to have the bucket and so a, a nice little working uh, bucket here was done um, I decided to weld this one because it's nigh and impossible to do it with with glue um, and obviously to cover the world uh, the obligatory uh, cloth has been put down there so that will hang off the back of the stug somewhere um, so coming round again um, I've put three handles um, I only had pictures on, on, on the other side so there may be a chance that the three handles aren't required because um, on this side what you'll have is the uh, radio mast um, holder uh, so that will go on there so they may have wrapped it around there but I'll, I'll see how it all pans out um, when I put it all back together after it's all been painted up um, I don't know how well you can see that but um, the uh, wood grain has been added um, using a craft knife the um, the uh, turret cleaner poles etc 
uh, again all photo etched went together very nicely um, I've actually left them off um, purely and simply just just for ease of uh, painting um, and it came with a nice resin cover um, so those will be painted up very nicely um, and then again on this side it was just a matter of um, as as you uh, as I had so many problems with the other fender I just basically cheated here and I've just just put the the clamp handles in the um, the hammer is missing as you can see because uh, I have a nice picture of the hammer hanging out of this um, tie hook here so that's where that's going to go um, and again the uh, covers here for the front light and the conduit at all um, and the uh, conduit wire as well so that 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 completes um, quite a detailed project but uh, a very enjoyable one in the most case um, one other thing I'll just point out to you is as you can see uh, down along the bottom there's a filler um, this will be based sort of um, autumn time coming towards winter of 1942 so there'll be a bit of mud but I, I didn't want to do anything excessive um, and what this means is that I can just add the pigment to there and you've got instant uh, depth um, to, 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 to the uh, earth rather than having to add loads of layers of pigments or put plaster in your pigments and, and that sort of thing so calling this one uh, finished now um, what the next video will show is uh, how we go about uh, painting and uh, weathering uh, this stug so it just leaves me to say thanks very much indeed uh, for your continued support of my channel um, and all your subscriptions and uh, I look forward to seeing you all on the next video